Okay, so this is a video about how to use Zotero to add new references to Wikipedia. And I'm gonna show you that um, in a few different ways, all of which use um, you know, some of the automatic capacities of Zotero. Um, and in order to do that, I am going to share my screen. So Zotero works, um, and so, as you can see here, what I have open is Zotero, the, the program, and also a web browser over here, open already to Wikipedia. Um, the basic instructions for doing this are all on the Zotero website on a help page called Zotero and Wikipedia, very Googleable, um, but I will also provide a link to it um, as well for you. So um, the idea is I've already captured a lot of references, including the ones that I'm gonna refer to here, um, and I want to use them somehow on Wikipedia, either by adding them as kind of bibliographic references, um, or, and this is probably what you're gonna do more often, um, by using them as citations for um, stated facts in an article. So the, art, the thing that I'm gonna be editing is actually my user page, uh, Indigenous Rights Resources, which I've shared with you in the class, um, but this works just fine for any different place on Wikipedia. So, um, in order to edit a page like this, I can either click the edit button up here or the edit button here. Um, I could also click edit source, um, which involves editing uh, the wiki code that sits beneath uh, Wikipedia. And many of these same processes basically work in the same way um, using edit source, but I'm gonna assume that you're not using that um, a lot for purposes of this class. Okay, so I click the edit button. Um, because it's the visual editor, it actually gives me the entire, uh, uh, page I can edit, even though I said I was editing this section, possible general references. Uh, I'm going to create a new space, let's imagine, um, called bibliography. Um, and um, I want to make that a subheading so that it doesn't kind of pop out outside of uh, possible general references. But here's where I'm going to add my bibliography. Um, and I'm going to create this bibliography as a bulleted list. Um, much like this one that's up here, and show you how to add items one by one to it. Um, and so in order for all of this to work on Zotero, you have to first do um, one thing in the preferences for Zotero. Um, you only have to do this one time ever on each computer installation of Zotero that you have. Uh, so you go into Zotero, you click the Zotero menu and then preferences, and you're gonna choose um, in the export page, um, the quick copy option. So basically, um, inside of Zotero, you can be copying and pasting references as references, but if you want to copy them as a formatted reference, um, what you're going to need to have um, is the Wikipedia citation template chosen as your default format. So there's lots of different formats here. Um, this is an export format, um, and it appears at the very bottom of this list. Um, so I just choose that. That was already chosen for me um, because I've done this before. Okay. So now I go um, and let's imagine that I want to create a bibliography that includes this book uh, by Michelle Ache, um, and I want to place it somewhere. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, and then instead of copying normally, I'm going to Command Shift C instead of Command C or Apple C, um, and then I'm gonna go over into my Wikipedia document and all I have to do is command paste. And then it converts the wiki text into, um, the visual editor converts the wiki text into the properly formatted thing that I want. Um, in this case, um, I'm still gonna look at my bibliographic reference and see um, if there's anything missing. And it does look like there's something missing because this is a book. Um, it just has a year and it doesn't have, uh, uh, a publisher or a place. So if I wanted to have those, I would need to go back into Zotero and make sure that I add them uh, onto the various uh, elements of Zotero. So if I am dissatisfied with this, I'm going to erase it. And then uh, I'll, I'll paste in a new one. Um, and actually, just to give you a little bit of a sense of how easy it is to add and edit things on Zotero, this is a lovely book that I don't know all, that Zotero does not know all the information about. That will sometimes happen. Um, so I'll put its title into a library. Um, this is WorldCat, which is actually the library of libraries um, maintained by the OCLC. It's like the interlibrary consortium. 
um, and I find the particular edition that I'm using. And I see that it is published in New York and London by Routledge. Um, and because I'm familiar with having filled out bi bibliographies for myself, I know that I don't actually put both of those cities. I pick one of those cities and I put in the, the publisher. And now I have a more complete reference and I'm gonna start again, do the whole thing. Command Shift C, go in here, click on my Wikipedia editing window, paste into it, and there I have my more complete bibliography um, in standard Wikipedia style. Okay. Um, I have a few more of these that I like to use, um, such as this one, Indigenous Peoples' Rights um, in International Law, and this one. Storytelling Globalization, and I'm just Command Shift C, Command V to paste. There we go. That's my bibliography. I'm happy with it. That was very simple for me to create. Um, and I hope a lot faster than the other process that you may have used using citations, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, let's imagine, even though this is not an actual article, that I was writing in an article and I had a sentence. And this sentence, I'm just going to call it to say this sentence contains the following cited fact. A's are in the Algonquin alphabet. Imagining that this imaginary fact um, Ha, um, was in fact true, and it was citable to something in my Zotero library. Um, so then what I might do is go back to Zotero, and now I'm gonna do the same thing, Command Shift Copy, but if I've just pasted it here, well, that's not very useful. That doesn't show up the way that I want it to do. So instead, what I wanna do is put it inside of a footnote, um, which means I need to choose Citation up here, Cite, and the place that I paste to is not the type of reference it is, right? In this case, I picked a journal article. And if I did that, then I would have to type in a bunch of details about the journal article. Wrong answer. So what, instead, what I want to do is cite and then use the basic form. And this basically allows me to paste or write my reference here. Um, so I will paste using uh, Command V. And there all of it is. Great. That looks good. Um, except I bet my fact did not appear on all the pages in this article. So I want to change one thing about that, which is the page number, um, because all of my citations should ideally be to the page that they're on. Um, and I will click on the citation, then click on edit. And now you can see that all of the detailed information for the citation has been populated by Zotero. And I can change the page that I'm citing to, let's say, 133. Um, let's imagine that's where our imaginary fact lived. And then I click Apply Changes. Here is my fully edited citation. I can look at it and say, yep, that looks lovely. Um, I have everything, including the page number that I found this fact on. I can press Insert, and there we are. OK, so that, um, and now that I have entered in either a bibliography, um, which you will not have to do in general for articles, but you may have to do in sharing your bibliography for the course assignment. Um, and I've entered in um, a cited fact. I can click Publish Changes right here. I might want to explain my changes. I added a bibliography and a sample fact that I will delete later. And then I publish my changes. And that is it. OK. Um, that is how Zotero integrates with Wikipedia. I hope that uh, this little video has helped you see that process and also appreciate just how fast it makes uh, editing um, and inserting citations uh, directly onto Wikipedia.